everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use OBS to do an Animal Jam livestream. And by the way, this works for every single livestream you basically want to do. It is not just apply to Animal Jam, you can do it for really anything you want to do. Okay, so the first step is that you want to download OBS Studio. There's also another one called Streamlabs, but today I'm just doing an instructional video for OBS. You're just going to want to go to obsproject.com slash download, and it should bring you to this page. Here you can select either Windows, Mac, or Linux, whichever PC or laptop or device you have. Once you've downloaded and installed it, this is what it should look like. Um, it should already have a scene here, I'm just, these are my normal ones, but this is just a demo scene that I've created, and it should automatically look something like this. Right now, it looks very confusing, but let me give you a brief tour on what all this means, since it does look very, like, jumbled and confusing. Over in this area, you can see your scenes. Basically, what this means, you can switch between different frames, and they will each have a different thing. So basically this one is a Be Right Back screen, and then this is my main one, where it shows the top gifters of the stream, my border, and my screen capture. These are the sources right here. This is ba basically what shows in each scene. Here I have top gifters, border, and a display capture, and in my BRB screen, I just have the image for my Be Right Back screen. Here I have the audio mixer. The desktop audio is the music that is playing in the computer, or the sound that's playing in the computer. You can have music, you can have a friend calling on Discord, and it will pick it up here. The mic aux is your external microphone, which picks up your speaking and anything else that you want to say. Over here are the scene transitions. I don't really touch this area since it just controls like the fade that you go through between scenes. It's just like this, and I honestly have no problem with this, so I just keep it like that. Over here are your controls. Here you can press start streaming or start recording. If you didn't know, OBS is also a screen recorder. You can start your virtual camera and you can go into studio mode. You can go into your settings and then you can exit the window. So let's start adding scenes and sources. I'm just going to go into my demo scene. You can right click on it. You can rename it. You can remove it. You can duplicate it and all these other controls with it. But right now I'm just going to add a source. So for a basic Animal Jam stream, I'm just going to add a display capture which shares your screen. I'm just going to name it Animal Jam, and you can just leave all this. So now it'll show this, and it automatically shows your screen. You can click the hide button to hide this, or you can click the eye button again to make it, sh to make it visible. Now, say you want a border for your Animal Jam stream, or really any stream, you're going to click the plus button again, and you're going to press image. This should pop up here where you can name it, so I'm just going to name it border demo, and I'm just going to press OK, and it'll allow you to browse your computer for the image file. Now it's on the screen. You can just simply make it larger or make it smaller, really what works for your stream. You can keep adding things to this, like a text file, and you can just press, you can just put like top gifter or something, press OK, and it should allow you to select a font, so if you have any fonts that match your um, theme or anything, you can do this. I like to leave the font size because it makes it a little blurry if I just have it, um, if I make it smaller, and then you're going to type whatever you want to type. So I've got everything typed here, and you can scroll down and select your color, the opacity of it, and anything like this, but I really just like to leave it at that since when I'm making changes to my text files while in a stream. Now you're going to press OK, and it should show up here. You can drag it around and make changes to the size of it, whatever works for you. You can add a ton of different sources and experiment with all of them. For instance, a video capture device if you want to have your face on there, or an image slides slideshow, or really anything here. Now let's talk about actually going live using OBS. You're going to go into YouTube Studio or just press the Go Live tab on your home screen. It should bring you to something like this, or if it's your first time streaming, you're going to want to press Stream Now 
and whatever it says to stream with like an outside program like OBS. So now you're gonna come over here to stream key and you're gonna press copy. Now let's go back into OBS and press settings. You're gonna go, you're gonna wanna go to the stream tab and type in paste in your stream key. I already have mine in there, but I can just repaste it in. And you're gonna wanna scroll down and press apply. This saves all changes, including your stream key. While you're here, you're also going to want to make sure it says YouTube RTMP and you don't want the beta version. All right, we're done. Now you just have to press start streaming when you want to start the stream and press stop streaming when you want to stop streaming. And right now it says start streaming, but once you are actually streaming, this will change to stop streaming. I really hope this helped since OBS can look pretty confusing to new beginners. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video or live stream. Bye everyone!